It was set up to kill. From within the walls of this small Denver apartment, police say James Holmes planned his deadly attack on a crowded movie theater during a showing of the new Batman film. Holmes' flat was booby-trapped with an intricate web of tripwires and explosive devices. Make no mistake, okay, this apartment was designed, I say, based on everything I've seen, to kill whoever entered it, okay? And who was most likely to enter that location after he planned and executed this horrific crime? It was going to be a police officer, okay? So make no mistake about it, what was going on there. And if you think we're angry, we sure as hell are angry about what, what has happened to our city, what has happened to these wonderful people who live here, and also what he threatened to do to one of, to one of our police officers. Traumatized residents gather to mourn the dead, lighting candles in their memory, still shocked that the shooting occurred so close to home. This is like, I live two blocks away from here. This is a movie theater that I come to all the time. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. Hundreds of bullets were fired into the crowds of moviegoers as they tried to flee the building. For the survivors, the horrifying events of that evening will not soon be forgotten. And you could hear just the, the deafening sound of people just hurt, people crying, people looking for their moms, people just screaming. The sounds of those little kids screaming and then the repeat of that gunfire, I will never forget that as long as I live. Doctors continue to fight for the lives of the critically injured. Their injuries a permanent reminder of the night's terror. We have injuries ranging from um, head injuries to chest injuries to belly injuries to injuries to the arms and legs. It pretty much runs the gamut of uh, multiple gunshots and uh, some of the injuries that, that we're dealing with and the patients are dealing with right now are going to be permanent. U.S. President Barack Obama reminded U.S. citizens to support each other even as the nation grieves. While we will never know fully what causes somebody to take the life of another, uh, we do know what makes life worth living. The people we lost in Aurora uh, loved and they were loved. As Colorado police continue their investigations into how and why James Holmes opened fire that night, that fragility will perhaps be this small town's most lasting reminder.